Golf first semi-final between Thompson and Geelong West Cricket and Football Club. And at half time, Geelong West with a five point lead. 5 8, 38 to 5 3, 33. And uh, just about to start the third term with uh, the cheaters kicking with the aid of a two or three goal breeze out of the middle from Savanka. Goes towards centre half forward Ratchy. Wigmore through. Quick early goal would be good for the uh, cheaters. Backwell's got the job on Denning now. He leads in the race of the footy, but it's going to beat both players over the boundary line and out of bounds. So the throw in. About uh, 15 metres around from the cheaters' goal. Harris at the back in front. Smith, who's in the ruck now. Handball to McGann. Onto his left boot, underneath, underground, and out of bounds once again. Yeah, you know, that was good defensive kick there, because he uh, really had nowhere to go. It was a real submarine one, wasn't it? Yeah. She went. Good play, got a good 30 metres away from West's goal. Oh, Savanka leaps high, ground level out. It's good work, Dale Menzies. Good body use. Sees the ball go out of bounds. Again, some... 25, 30 metres now from uh, Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club goal. Zdanka, no one's at the ground level. Oh, yeah, Ratchy kicked off the carpet. Gardner's there. That's Tim. Was good work to Mickey Gann. Little short kick out there to Highland was okay. He handballs to Menzies, gives it back to the run of Highland, who's a little drop punt pass. Hit uh, Andy Gardner, but he couldn't hold it. Pack of players are formal and out of sight. Um, by Chastard will bounce. This game, is, the longer it goes, the more it reminds me of yesterday's game with Werribee Centrals and Bannockburn. Thompson have got two and three at the contest. You know, they're putting the pressure on. There's so. a bit more of a need, isn't there? Yeah. Scott taps it over the back. Lead near Ingwerson, but chopped off by Burke. Kick around the corner, back into the corridor. Good mark in front, pay it. And over the goes. shoulder. Over the shoulder, he pay it. Atchison. into Timmy Gardner, good kick, defensive 50 plays on quickly, as he always does taps it on the ground, runs away from a couple, then kicks long on the wing over the head of Wolfenden Neil gets a hand to it still out on centre wing and now out of bounds so a boundary throw in the wind taking it, Smith does a good job in the ruck, brings it down to ground. It's bottled up once again, and just between wing and half forward with the cheers attacking, we'll have another ball up. Early stages of the third and vital quarter. What was by up Koeji shops in and around Geelong. Ball out of side of the ground. Kick off the carpet was good. Quick hands there, Williams. Couldn't find the target though. Support oh. Harris was okay. Again, the handballing is not hitting the targets, but this time, Rosevere, good enough to get it to Alan Craig, whose right foot Free kick, kick down the ground. flattened as he got rid of it. And uh, it looks like uh, Rosevere in a bit of trouble too. It's in a half forward for the Cheetahs. Free kick relayed down the ground too. It looks like 3AW. Andy Williams. So Williams has got it. He's kicked uh, one goal one this afternoon. Comes in directly in front, 30 metres out. Oh, oh, he sprayed it. Got it. But, uh, no. One behind. So one Wasted opportunities two. by the west side. So the move to 5 9 39. First score of the third term. Thompson 5 3 33. Now, Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. Back will do the kicking in for Thompson. He looks to go down the ground looking for Timmy Gardner. It's over here. Williams was with him. Ratchy comes at pace, gets around a couple. Then handball to nobody. Smith. Williams wraps him up and held to him for a ball up and half forward for the Cheetahs. Smith in front works well against Ivanka. Ball ripped off him. Menzies gets a kick away. Ratchy. Simpson waits for it, gets back onto the favoured left boot, goes around, Atchison in front, or oh, gets a high tackle. We'll hold, and we'll take the...
the free kick in the last line defence for the Tigers. The rubber man of the Thompson defence. Impassable hit this afternoon. Kick held up in the breeze. Loose ball sees Highland swoop on it. Likewise does Sammy Lucino. Lost his footing at the crucial time. It cuts off hands out of bounds. Oh. Member side half forward flank. Uh, Geelong West to, into attack. An attack they need. Kicking with the breeze. So it'll be worth three or four. Goals that is. Stewie Scott thumps it over the back. Actually good play into the corridor. Marty Anelli was well coloured. It was Frank in fact. But uh, gee whiz, to the Thompsons' uh, credit, they're pretty desperate. And they've bottled it up again at half forward. They've bottled the West Runners up today, haven't they? They've um, yeah, not allowing the Cheetahs' uh, midfield to really have any dominance at all. It's Timmy Gardner, under pressure, got it out to Menzies. Oh, Ratchy, got one a bit high. Stewie Scott kicks off the ground. It was good. Clean bowls. Oh, here's an opportunity now for Harris. Got it to Frankie Ianelli, and he shreds it through for goal number four. Good play, Harris. Quick hands. Good play, Stewie Scott. It's been opportunist this afternoon too, Frank Ianelli. He's kicked four goals and moves Geelong West to 6-9-45. They lead Thompson 5-3-33 on the Epco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. The margin once again out to 12 points. Four goals from six at the moment. Good return for Frank Ainelli. Yeah, he's doing his job, isn't he? He's only probably had half a dozen kicks, so uh, to kick four goals, yeah. big effort. But as I said before, I think Thompson are bottling up the runners from the west side, your Williamses and your Ingersons and your Craigs and your, you know, Scotts. And uh, it's making it a little bit tougher for them. Back to the centre. Good work again by Christian Smith. Got it down there to Withers. He's a little kick around the body, though. Only a, sh a short one. Well marked Darren Campigli at centre-half back. Plays on quickly to the outer side. Finds Gavin Ingsworzen. He wastes no time either. Going to the defensive side. Looks there to Frank Ianelli. Shocking but play. A terrible kick. And they won't score from out there, I can assure you. Why would you go out there? In the first place. I yeah. agree with you. Mm. Shocking football. So you reckon you'd come to the broadcast yeah. side just to be near well, the even, broadcast? Even down the corridor. I mean. Just to be near us? Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you come near us? Well, Wigmore kicks off the ground. Got it back towards the corridor. Good work there in defence, Mickey Gam. Ah. Put it straight down the throat of uh, the Mediterranean marvel, uh, Nicola Gino. Goes to centre half four. That's better footy. Now, Harris, he's been playing behind, and that's not good play. Runner needs to get out and have a talk to Andy Harris, and that'll teach him he's caught one in the in the eye, I think you'll find. Could have been a backhand or an elbow. Why is Williams back behind Glenn Denning? He should be up in front of him. He's in the goal square. Oh. Is that Ross Glenn Denning? No, no, I think you'll find that, uh, well, probably under instruction. What's his... What's his uh Comes out, Highland and Stewie yeah, Scott, Atchison straight through, good play. Then kicks towards the vacant wing <coughs> position. Good shepherd. Leads in the race for the footy. Neil was in support, Cam Pigley as well. Guthrie turns around, kicks it back in towards Wigmore. Over his head, Bradley. We first there, kick off the ground. In fact, kicks it backwards a little bit, but finds the boundary line. And it'll be another throw in. You know... <laughs> Denning is, is, hasn't led all day, and it, as I say, they've got Williams back behind him. I just can't work that one out. Well, no, with the Bruce, you'd think he'd just stand in the square, really, and uh, take the big grab, because what he's Denning. round for. Denning, yeah, Denning yeah. yeah, but not Williams. Oh. Thrown in. Scott from behind, over the back of Smith. Lakino, handball, OK to Russell Scott. He goes back into the pack, left foot kick around the corner, very high, Wigmore and Smith, and also Atchison, big thump away by the rubber man. And another throw in. Inside 50 metres now, with the Cheetahs attacking. They lead 6-9 to 5-3. Kicking with Yade. A fairly strong breeze here at Osborne Park. I think yep. they've got... Yes, Baz? I think they've got to get a couple of goals quick because this weather looks as though it's going to close in again. Thanks very much, Barry. <laughs> Ball out of sight of the ground. A ruck infringement there, Christian Smith. I love you, Barry. That's all right. Oh, sorry, Jason. Are the okay. lights on? <laughs> oh, oh, that's it. No, that's the end now. Yeah. Sorry, you can go back to Gail. Okay. Yeah. Smith, long <laughs> She doesn't kick. want him. Up the, <laughs> you're right. As we see now, Paul. She wanted him in the first place. Out the side of the ground. 
opportunity. Ah, you were born, Samuel that's right. Chino. He was pulled off it. Now the Tigers are away. Oh. The lunchbox. Jeez, he got carried away there, but he's recovered well. Puts the ball to ground. Goes back, weaves off the hand pass to Bradley. Oh, he's not sure either, but now he kicks up to half oh. forward. But there's a sea of cheaters. And uh, Darren Cade pickley In takes the, the footy. Good kick too, finds Russell Scott. He handballs to Craig. Has to just sit and wait, oh. so he gets a handball off though to Cowie. He runs through the middle and that uh, gives it off to Guthrie. Little left foot kick around the corner. Sets it up for Denning and Harris. They're in the pack at the front, Burke. And he's going to oh, have well to run a shepherded. Play. Short little kick to Highland's good. It's in half back. The Tigers are going to start and run. Wolfenden was going to give the shepherd for Highland. He goes towards Humphrey. Chopped off Russell Scott. Neil, little toe poke. Didn't get it very far. Justin, Justin tackles. Gets it out towards Timmy Gardner. He can handball to Wolfenden. He was going to well. Oh. oh. Too yeah. wide. Yeah. And Craig Wolfen to take the free kicks inside the centre square at centre half forward. Well, Wolfa. Tries to kick goals this time. Drop pass straight down the centre of the ground. Opportunity there. That looks like uh, Cam Pickley should have marked it. There's been a free kick though against uh, West. And uh, it's going to go the way of uh, Rick Humphrey. And uh, Ken Denning is uh, having a spell. I don't yeah. think he's touched well, it all I day. reckon it's about time too. Well, he hasn't touched it all day. Humphrey, 35 metres out, directly in front. Chance to uh, close the margin once again to a goal. This will be a big effort, boys. Look, he's kicking from about 45 metres into the teeth of a pretty strong breeze. And Noel Fanning, good afternoon. That's a very strong breeze too. Well, yeah. Drop short in front of you. Cam Pigley, experienced campaign. Why wouldn't Thompson have a man in front of the pack? the same thing, Noel. Goes out wide, looks for Alan Craig, who had to stretch to his utmost. Just about ripped the left arm out of the socket. And Bradley came in and uh, chipped it away out of bounds. Left forward pocket, about 35 metres from Thompson's goal, who at the minute are trailing by 12 points. Apco Easy Shop bringing you the third and vital quarter. Time check shows 12 minutes gone of the third quarter. Neil gets the ball and... Drives it long towards the wing. Overrunning oh. Ratsy now. He's it got sits. the race. Yeah, it sits for him. And he's a uh, pacey wingman. He goes to the left boot. It's a poor kick off the boot. And wobbles through for one behind for the Cheetahs. Something uh, I'll throw to you, Ron. They're taking Denning off. Probably one of the best players on the ground with a bit of height last week was Beekman's. And they put Box at full forward. Beekman's on the f hasn't come off the bench. <laughs> oh, oh, the jack in the box pulls in a Garima. He's renowned for that sort of thing, isn't he? He loves it. Wigmore, short. And okay, you've got a game next week. The coach has got it. Got to come back about three. Barry Walker reckons Thompson will win this. Well, it's Barry's on a lot of medication at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't answer my question, Ron. About I agree, I agree. Yeah, Beekman's would probably be worth it, an opportunity down in the square, even though he can't kick. Now, an opportunity here, though, Stewie Scott. It's right to the teeth of goal, but, yeah, good work. There's Shane Withers, and sensibly knocks it through for a point. That was exactly the same as Thompson. Why didn't West have someone in front of the pack then, Noel? Exactly, because the attackers don't think like defenders. 6 11 47, That's Geelong true. West. Uh, a lead Thompson 5-3-33. Apco Easy Shops. In and, and around Geelong. The one-stop shop that's got the lot. Apco Easy Shops. Down at Sunny Bowen Heads where it's pouring rain at the moment. <laughs> back will kick in at centre half back. Bit of a chance here if the ball sits. Scott onto his left boot. No it's one back there. Oh, oh yeah, well, well good call. Back will said leave it. It's mine. And he gives it to Highland in the back pocket. Tries to get it towards Smith. Uh. Does well in the contest. A bit of support bottled up now, and the umpire will come in and bounce the ball. It's Lovely. amazing how the wider I can't understand why footballers wear gloves, let alone bloody cameramen and commentators. <laughs> That's why not. <laughs> easy, easy for you to uh, again, does well on the ruck contest. Uh, got it to the 50 metre line, out of sight of the ground. D71 Black, pick Black. the Pat Bar. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. Graham, rigged. Uh, the Bell Post Hill raffle was rigged. It's out. Uh, 
of the contest to Timmy Gardner at centre half back goes towards McFarlane. Second effort needed here by the big man. Oh, great work too. Gets around oh. a couple, runs back to centre half back, but still got the footy. Look at him, gets around another one. Goes to the right foot short towards Harris, takes the mark in the centre of Osborne Park. Oh, oh. handball to Highland. He has to go on the left foot instead of uh, being able to run onto his right. Wigmore's got it centre half back now for the Cheetahs. Goes long. That's that The kid. right foot towards uh, Harris. Two against him. Menzies comes from behind. Harris, though, in front. Handball. Smothered. Highland. We'll have support from Bradley. Didn't get there quick enough, though. Dropped it. Ooh, oh, yeah. no, no. Play on. I'm play close. on the call. Burke leaves it behind. Bradley's there now. Left foot kick towards the boundary line. And finds it. Out of bounds on centre wing. It's 6 it's six eleven playing 5-3. It's the Cheetahs by 14 points on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. 15 and a half minutes gone. Third quarter. Thompson have worked Savanka out to at the boundary line throw ins. They've got a player about 10 metres off the uh, throw in, and Savanka's just thumping it forward for West. Watch where the umpire throws the ball. What direction is he going to throw it in, Barry? <laughs> straight to centre field or towards the centre? No, but I'm just saying. They've, look, they've look, worked look. him out. See, they straight towards the centre every time. Smith in front, Ooh. got it down. Wolfenden. And Pack develops it half forward. Another ball up. Well, West, uh, you're still with Stewie Scott, uh, who's still badly limping out there, boys. Uh, get some fresh men on the ground, on yeah, the boundary line. On the ground. I think you'll find, really, he should have a spell. Do you reckon? Yep. Some fresh thought, legs out there. I thought his, his, his third quarter effort so far has been quite good. He's been at the bottom of the pack. He's no, gone for knockouts. But I, I honestly believe they need another big fella out forward and I'd have put Beekman's on. But he was no good when he came on in the second quarter. Who's that? Stewie Scott. Yeah, look Stewie at him now. now. Look at that. Lost it though. Oh, well done. Highland got up and uh, stole it. Oh, good man. Lovely pass to there to uh, the lunchbox. <laughs> and uh, Andy Gardner takes the foot in out of side centre wing. Plays on quickly, up to half forward. In front there was McFarlane, knocked away Cam Bigley. JJ comes through, Oof. lost the footy. Yeah. Good work there was Lucino. Free but kick. a whistle on play, and I think you'll find Cam it Pigley. could be Cam Bigley who caught one after the ball had gone. And uh, Darren Cam Bigley will get the free kick for the Cheetahs. Out of sight, half back flank. High ball. Harris. Oh, coming down a bit gingerly there too was Andy Atchison and that's the last thing that Thompson would want to lose their centre half back who's just about been their best player this afternoon. Badger throw in on the centre wing on the other side here at Osborne Park. Harris in front Smith. Free kick over the shoulder and Christian Smith, professionally known around the club as Wing Nuts. There's a new nickname for you, Ronnie, Wing Nuts. It's beautiful. Smith has it on centre wing. Goes long. Good kick too into the breeze. Over the back of the pack. <laughs> Standing there and marking it is A.W. Andy Williams. And at half back. <laughs> Sing us a song, Andy. Goes short. Good play, Lucino. But they really need to be attacking. They're sort of defending at the minute, West. Rosevere. Yeah, they've got to come this side and go longer, haven't they? Oh, oh yes. shocking play again. Withers intercepts. Fains the handball, goes with his left boot, long, good kick to Bradley, can't take the mark. Recovery though is okay, gets onto his right boot, kicks it high. Richardson coming across to the contest with McFarlane. In front, Wolfenden, rove beautifully, threw it to uh, Withers, gets through a pack, goes with his left boot. Getting back there in the last line defence, Scragger Craig, and takes the mark. Yeah, good grab. Plays on quickly too, was good footy to Guthrie and uh, now on the right on. side. Now we're on the member's oh, side. Oh, the kick wasn't good. No, it's going to put Russell Scott under a bit of pressure. Good contest here with him and Christian Highland. Gee, he recovers well. Second effort's terrific, uh, Highland. Oh, good man. His kick on this occasion lets him down though, and uh, chipping in, taking a fine grab is uh, worse. Now that's that's nearly 50 hanging on. Gavin Ingwersen. Goes towards Wigmore and Smith over the back of the pack. All Thompson, look at him. Burke, Harris to Shepherd Williams. Oh, Burke Williams went the wrong way. <laughs> Williams went the wrong way then to cut him off. Yeah. Well, I don't reckon he did. I reckon he was trying to get around the Shepherd. Barry, if he had it gone that way, the bloke would have just stepped him over the line. Like the evening three step, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Scott's gone now to defence, it appears. Yeah. I'd say given Scragger a run on the ball, which is probably a good move. 
But he's not moving too well, though, Stewie Scott. That left thigh heavily bandaged. Give us a wave, Stewie. And uh, kicks it all right, though. Looks to Leroy Loggins. Oh. <laughs> he jumps like him. Savanka. Yeah, a bit too early then. And uh, an opportunity. Christian Smith, he's been terrific since uh, being put on the ball for the Tigers. And uh, another very good player for the Thompson side this afternoon. He's at half back. Member side of Osmond Park. No no one moving, so he's just hanging on to the footy. Yeah, this is good good delaying tactics. It is good delaying tactics. And a good is, uh, kick. Yeah, it is a long penetrating kick to half forward. Oof. Now, oh, JJ and uh, Tunga Neal. Tunga picks it up. Hand pass over the top was OK to Guthrie. He's been busy this quarter. Long kick to half forward. Oh, oh good Moore mark. in front. Jeez, the aerial now, specialist. OK. Wigmore oh, there. look at him run down the corridor and he didn't see any of them. Heath Box slips at the crucial time. Backwell can't take it. Ground level. Mickey Gann was there and uh, is happy to see Two Thompson the players pushed it over. <laughs> yep, got away with it. <laughs> Ball's about 40 metres now from uh, West's goal. And do they need a goal? Because uh, time is ticking on, boys. We've uh, had 21 minutes go on of this third quarter. And uh, margin is only 14 points. Is it enough, Jason Doherty? Well, I hope not for Bretton Moore's sake. We picked Thompson. But... Uh, well, yeah, they're not really using the Bruce. They've kicked uh, one goal three in this third term with the Bruce. And it's still in there now. Handball. Ball back to Russell Scott, oh. who was under pressure. Pack's still in there. Withers comes in and bottles it up. And we'll have a ball up about 40 metres out from the cheetah goal. 6, 11, 47, Geelong West. Thompson, 5, 3, 33. Smith gets it out. Highland again, who's been extremely busy in this third term. Yeah, played a great quarter. How he doesn't get a free kick there, I don't know. I think it was over, Ron. But, uh, he's pretty tough, the boy. Up he gets. Boundary throw in. Good 65 metres now from uh, the Cheetahs' goal. Out of sight of Osmond Park. Smith does well again. Got it to Burke. His quick kick to centre wing is well marked there, and it looks like Richard Neal. Neal. Look yep. at that. Everybody uh, on the uh, left of centre, except the full forward and the full back. Everybody's in this half of the ground. Oh, yes, Cowie. Cowie. Runs straight through, goes from 55, and uh, probably should have had a kick for goal in the end. Smith. He's there again. Oh. High tackle there against uh, Christian Smith. So we'll get a free kick. Eight to two free kicks in the third quarter. So Yeah, that's desperation, isn't it? Smith has got Menzies wide. If he sees him over Yeah, he here, can't uh, he can't come across this way. Goes long. Good kick too. Gardner at the back. Traps it, gives it to his brother Timmy, who runs on. He's got Richardson. And it's Big Richo now. Goes towards McFarlane, one-on-one. -on -one. Can't take the mark. It's going to be who's on the ground. Guthrie, good recovery, McFarlane to get up. Humphrey as well. It's four on two. Atchison gets across there as well. He's a long way up from half-back. Guthrie. Guthrie. Oh, we can't oh, be... Jeez, Brett. Our technical director's going to get a bit excited oh, up here. He's got $1,500 riding on this. That was out of bounds <laughs> deliberately by him. Boundary throw in. Comes down towards Andrew Gardner. Handball to his brother Tim. Handball to Wolfenden. Short little kick. And now it's bottled up. So a goal here would make it interesting. Thompson were able to score. <laughs> Throw a blanket over 25 <coughs> players around the ball. Be Savanka and McFarlane. Savanka gets it down towards Lucchino. Richardson standing start. Torpedo punt outside of the right boot. And out of bounds on the full. A free kick. <laughs> The goal umpire told him Brett, he was closer. Brett's getting a bit fired up in this third yeah, term. Yeah, Precious on in the finals. Ronnie yesterday and Brett oh, today. Unbelievable. Neil goes towards Ingwersen. It's over his head. Smith breaks the tackle. Handball over the head of Wolfenden. Lucchino's there as well. And 
another pack develops. And Porter come in and bounce the ball once again. It's a, a real battle at the minute, isn't it? The footy's really dropped off. Uh, both sides struggling. Oh, gee, I'll tell, uh, tell you what, Tom, Thompson, I've just got to get down here to um, Burke. Burke. That's a chance. Up, oh, McFarlane, Savanka. Now, Richardson read the play beautifully. He knew Savanka was going to punch it towards the boundary line. Richardson brings it back with the breeze into the goal square. Menzies was on hands and knees as a throw. And it's going to be a free kick to the Cheetahs. To be taken in the last line defence by Darren Campigley. Jimmy Wallace warming up for the Tigers on the boundary line. Who's coming off is the question. Cam Pigley with the footy. He's got to go straight down the middle. Likes to come to the member's side of the ground. Smith used his body well. Oh, well done, Williams. Williams. Well oh, done. Oh, has a bounce, the dasher. Oh, this is sing what us a song, 3AW. <laughs> he's, he's down to half forward. Now, what's going to do? Can he kick the goal? It bounces. It bounces. Oh. oh, wrong side. And that would have been the goal of the year had he popped that one through. Well, he really had to, had had time to have another bounce. Yeah. But there was no one near him to tell him to do it. So, one behind to uh, Andrew Williams. And the Cheetahs are 6 12 48. Thompson a 5 3 33. Kicking by Backle again. Good distance, 50. Goes up towards Christian Smith. And on hands and knees, gives it to Menzies, wrapped oh, up, good tackle, Withers, through the middle of the pack, back towards Smith, Bradley taps it in front of him, now he have to give support, and he hasn't got much himself, mm. oh, Russell Scott, poor handball, chopped off Lakino at half forward, now Paul will come in and bounce the ball. Just first of the footy at the moment, Thompson, aren't they? Yes, sir. But they've been, they've been like that all day, Jase, they've been free kick. I'm, get, I'm getting sick and tired of writing G here today. Give it a few. Oh. <laughs> Quite a number. Quite a number. Well, yeah, actually, he's had most of the play for the day, though, too. Yeah, but a lot of the free kicks that he's given have been across that half-back line, and yeah. they've sort of... Have, oh, now... Richardson was up early there on centre wing. Little kick is OK. Gains about 25 metres for the Tigers. Up towards the half-forward flank and out of bounds. See, different umpire, different interpretation when Savanka went early before he got penalised. Yeah. They just can't get an even 50-50 deal, can you, with umpires? <laughs> <laughs> well, ball's at the outer side half forward now. Thompson into attack. Good work there is the, for the big fella in Richardson. Got it out to the run of his teammate Wallace, who kicks it up to the pocket, and Good McFarlane mark. comes out and takes the mark. Now he's within scoring distance, he goes to play on, he gets around one and pops it on his that's boot. Don't tell me he's popped it through. I tell you what, that's a pretty inspiring goal if he has. Uh, great goal, the Tigers are back in town. So, Chris McFarlane's first goal. And as we said, a crucial goal for the Tigers against the Breeze. 6 3 39. Tom Sitch, along West Cricket and Football Club, 6 12 48. Back to nine points of difference on the Cozy Shop third quarter scoreboard. And. Uh, Well, the preliminary final, Brett. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, but yeah, geez, he's on him, isn't he? Hey? <laughs> Back to the setup. <laughs> Good work, Sedanka. Got it down. Oh, Stewie Scott can't move. Oh. Siren sounds and uh, a pretty disappointing quarter from a Geelong West point of view, I'd suggest, gentlemen. Yes, that quarter, Geelong West at three quarter time, 6 12 <laughs> 48. Hello, a little bit of a fracker. 6 12 48 Geelong West. Thompson 6 3 39 in that quarter. Geelong West kicked one goal forward with the Breeze. Thompson kicked one straight goal against it. The goal kickers, Frank Ianelli, has four goals. Andy Williams and Russell Scott, one each for Geelong West. Thompson, two goals to Rich, Alan Richardson, two to Andrew Gardner, and one each to Craig Wolfenden. And Chris McFarlane, three kicks in that quarter, Barry. 9 to uh, Thompson. 3 to uh, Geelong West takes to 26 16. Um, and by, uh, I'll work him out. Okay, so uh, some of the better players in that uh, term, boys. Well, I mean, from a Thompson point of view, and uh, even though they were outscored by what four points, I mean, uh, it was really their quarter kicking into a, a, probably a three four goal bruise. I thought none other than Christian Highland, uh, he's, he's been terrific. Christian Smith, brilliant. 
Bit of a wrap for Berkey as well at half back and Atchison. Even though he did hurt himself that quarter. Um, they've been pretty good, the Ties. Their desperation for the footy is, uh, hasn't eased up at all from that quarter. And I might mention Andy Gardner as well. I thought his quarter was pretty good as well. For West, boys, uh, a bit hard to find. Good players for the West side. I thought uh, Neil across half back. I thought uh, did quite well. Uh, Savank is still trying hard in the ruck, even though Smith, I believe, is getting on top of him. Uh, Wigmore played quite well in that quarter. Uh, Williams coming in and out of it. Cowie made a couple of dashes from uh, from the centre. I think um, yeah, West have got to take a little bit of a punt now. Uh, I believe, and um, early in this quarter, and for I think with Neil playing so well in the back line. They've got a. I I try Cowie into the centre right from the word go. Yeah, I don't uh, disagree with that. A bit of strength and a bit of aggression, and I would hope that Stewie Scott will have a spell in the first five minutes and get some fresh legs on the ground. Well, I'd put Stewie Scott to full forward and just tell him to stay in the square, and uh, you know, just have everyone the ball just bomb down there and just contest because he will contest. So at three quarter time, Geelong West 6 12 48 lead Thompson 6 3 39. The winner of this match into the preliminary final of 1997. Back with all the final quarter action after this on 94.